In his sequel to Diana's Boys, best-selling author Christopher Anderson explores the lives of Prince William and Prince Harry growing up in the royal family. It even looks at Prince Harry's decision recently to step away from the royal family and move to California with his wife Meghan. It's all detailed in his new book, Brothers and Wives, Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry and Meghan. Christopher Anderson joins us to uh, tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Oh boy, where to start with all this? Let me let me start with this. Um, you would think the monarchy has to evolve over time. What is the queen trying to do with William over the years to try and groom him to be a, a successor? And is she is she evolving him, or is she trying to keep him to be what they've always been? Oh my gosh, you know, she was uh, from, the, from the time he was five years old. The queen was uh, taking. Having him come to Windsor Castle for tea, and uh, you know, kind of getting little history lessons on the side, absolutely grooming him for the ultimate job. Uh, but you know, in the relation between the brothers, this is part of the problem. You know, there's the heir and the spare, and the spare <laughs> grew up in his brother's area, and that's what we're seeing today. It's a dynamic that really uh, is kind of doomed to fail. You know? The kind of tension that's going on behind the walls at the royal palace is now is just phenomenal, as you can imagine. One of the bombshells of your book is that you reveal that um, that comment that Meghan Markle said in her interview with Oprah about uh, a royal family member speculating about the color of their of their baby was Prince Charles himself. Well, yeah, and and, and, and again, I hasten to add, it's not a racist comment. What he said uh, was a casual comment to Camilla at the time of the engagement of, of Meghan and Harry, where he was just speculating kind of fondly on what their grandchildren might look like, you know, eye color, hair color, and, and complexion. Uh, this was taken by the the guys behind the scenes, the bureaucrats the palace who run the show, the people that, that Diana called the men in gray, and uh, kind of spun. It's like a game of telephone. You know, by the time the gossip ran through the palace walls, by the time you got to the end, it, it's something very different, much more toxic uh, and racially tinged. It was not in the beginning uh, when Charles made the comment, but by the time it got to Harry, you know, it sounded like there were apprehensions and concerns, and he was uh, not happy. And that just, you know, poured fuel on the fire. Uh, there was already a, you know, a problem created by their exit. So their exit. what is the fallout um, with and, uh, uh, the Queen yeah, and Prince on? Charles and, and William with the exit? I'm sorry. I said, what is the fallout I with... I, I, we're having a hard time. You're cutting in and out. Oh, uh, the fallout. The fallout with the brothers the as well, a result and, and Prince Charles and the Queen. Well, the, I mean, the fallout is that they're, they're right now nobody's speaking to anybody. Charles not talk, hasn't talked to, to Harry, uh, to my understanding, in over a year. William is not returning Harry's phone calls. Um, there have been a couple of attempts at, at mending fences, but it hasn't worked. Um, you know, th there's a lot of bad blood there. There are a number of scenes in the book of, of you know, which I recount the, the kind of rage on the part of uh, Charles and William and other members of the royal family over this sudden decision of Harry to to pull out, and even the queen. Uh, she loves her grandchildren equally, but when it comes to the firm, as they call the royal family, uh, you know, she's all business. And she told, basically, sent the message to Harry and Meghan that, you know, you can't be part-time in part -time royals. You either in all the way or you're out. So he stripped Harry of military, ceremonial military titles very hurtful to him. Um, you know, it's just, it's very, the drama, is, it's really sad to see this kind of rift. I always think that Diana would, if you were around, would she'd be happy that these two guys married uh, women that they obviously love and that the, they're remarkable young women and that they're, and Harry and, and William are great fathers. But I, I think she intended for both William and Harry to be part of the monarchy. She always said, you know, William and Harry are my revenge. You know, they'll always be there. She doesn't like, I, I, she wouldn't have liked, I don't think, um, you know, Harry uh, to appear to be turning his back on, on his birthright, really. Christopher Anderson, we appreciate you joining us. Uh, the book is called Brothers and Wives Inside the Private Lives of William, Kate, Harry, and Meghan. It is available now. Thank you. Thank you.